Welcome to Banknez Capital's weekly financial report. What happened last week? President Joe Biden shared that a deal to increase the U.S. debt ceiling is close to being finalized after weeks of discussions with Republican representatives. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen pushed the crucial deadline to June 5, which is when the government will exhaust its funds unless the borrowing limit is raised. In Ukraine, Alexei Danilov, an important member of the War Cabinet, said the country is ready to initiate a counter-offensive. Over the weekend, Ukraine reported intercepting 10 Russian missiles and over 20 drones aimed at Kyiv and eastern cities. Missile strikes led to casualties and damage in Dnipro and Kharkiv. In Russia, a drone attack damaged an oil pipeline building near the Belarus border, with no casualties or information on the perpetrator. Russia dismissed U.S. criticism of its intention to move nuclear weapons to Belarus, asserting their sovereign right to maintain security. U.S. consumer spending rose by 0.8% in April, exceeding expectations, while after-tax income increased by 0.4%. Inflation also went up, possibly leading the Federal Reserve to contemplate raising interest rates. Taiwan's defense ministry announced that three Chinese naval vessels, including an aircraft carrier, traversed the Taiwan Strait, following the median line that acts as an informal border between Taiwan and China. Serbia's president, Aleksandr Vucic, directed army units to the Kosovo border after ethnic Serbs clashed with police in northern Kosovo. Serbia's defense minister stated that terror against the Serb community in Kosovo was apparent. Finally, an Indian official was suspended for emptying a reservoir to recover his fallen mobile phone, asserting that he had permission for the three-day operation that drained 2 million liters of water. Ready to start earning? Visit banknest.com or download the Banknest app from the App Store or Play Store today. Bankness Capital, let your money work for you with the power of AI.